We are all a product of our environment. So it's high time the government starts looking into things to make the system work here so that it can reduce the pressure. It's very important we have a system that works. Now, this particular talk, <laughs> you can see me smiling. I find it very, very interesting because it's a 100% truth. 100% truth. We are all a product of our environment. What do I mean by being a product of the environment? Let me use our churches as an example. Are you aware that there's most of the messages are being preached in Africa? Or let me just say Nigeria. Hmm? You can't preach such sermons in more developed nations. Like let's say South Africa or um, uh, UK or US, Canada, Australia, other parts of the world. Some of these topics won't fly. It won't fly. As a matter of fact, so when you, these topics don't fly, it means that you now have to re-strategize to look for the topics that would fly in that environment. Let me give you an example. A man of God. Every example I'm going to be giving, giving you are real-life examples. Now, a man of God went to a church in South Africa, and while he was preaching, he, he left from Nigeria, by the way. While he was preaching, he forgot he was in South Africa. He thought he was in Nigeria like normal. And he started giving words of prophecy and said, for all those who want to relocate to the United States right now, come out, come out, come out, come out. Let me pray for you. Let me, pray for you. Let me lay hands on you and you'll get your visa to travel to, uh, to the United States. <laughs> Behold, not even one person came out. Not one. One. I, I'm not saying look, somebody didn't come out. One person didn't come out. And the pastor, the host pastor now had to whisper to him and say, hey, man of God, the people are not, they're not interested in going to America. Are you looking at where you are right now? And he looked around and realized that, how can you be in this place and you're looking for how to go to America? It's only places like Nigeria because of the hardship, the setback, the backwardness in almost everything, the bad leadership and all. The poverty. That's where such sermons where people hear. How many of you want to relocate to Ghana? How many, how many of you want to relocate to Togo, Tokotonu? You will see people who will run out. They will run out. Anything that will take them out of this country, they will gladly run at it. He was preaching <laughs> the, that message, the wrong message in South Africa. Now, let me give an example about some things some advantages, or, or rather, let me put it this way, some, some excesses, all right, that happens here, that don't happen in other places, that we take for granted. Let me give you some other similarities, rather, of a working system, because that environment in South Africa was working, or is working, rather. So they're not looking for how to move, because they have a working system. Nigeria might not be, is not working right now, so you could bring that message here, and a lot of people will jump at it. A man of God, a very, very funny man of God said something. He said, he said, the reason why most people go to church is because of lack, poverty, how to get connections, probably where to meet your wife and all the challenges in this life. They take you to church because you can get free counseling, free, free healing, free boldness to meet someone who you could uh, approach and see the spirit of God said, you're my wife and all those things. You're, you have access to all these things. Basically free, 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 free. So, according to this particular man of God, he, say, he says, most people come to church to want to use God. All right? And because God is smarter, all right, he has now raised fake men of God to use them. So, at the end of the day, everybody is using everybody. <laughs> okay. Now, that's, that's by the wayside. But now, I'll try to give you an example of a working system. Now, a friend of mine relocated from Nigeria, and he went to the UK. And on arrival... For this new job he, he had uh, in, already lined up for, uh, of course, to, to resume, he was asked to do medicals. Now, he did medicals in Nigeria before he left. Listen very closely. Now, on arrival in the UK, and when he did his medicals, he was okay, everything is okay, perfect, yeah, yeah, good to go, cleared, oh. Oh, yeah. Then he moved. On arrival, of course, he had to do his medicals. Now, after doing the medicals, the difference between the two medicals now, I thought in the medicals, before he left, the doctor told him, said, every other thing is okay with you, but in the next 15 years, 
from this trace of what we're seeing here, in the next 15 years, you're going to have stroke. And it was like, oh my, wow. So how can I avert that? And the doctor told him, okay, you have to now start doing this and doing this and doing this so that you can avert it, you can reverse it and it will not come. It's possible for it never to come or you can shift it to the next 30 or 45 years time. You see the difference. He didn't apply for a stroke medical or a stroke test, possible stroke tests. He didn't apply for it. He didn't. He just wanted to do general medicals. And because the system works, all right, they were able to, 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 to discover that in the next 15 years, so he now has to do things that would avoid that from coming to pass. It didn't require a prophet to see it or to prophesy to a man of God to come to the pulpit and say it. Science already solved it for him. That system works. That's why you see some people who are in Africa, they're very committed in church speaking, in church, maybe they relocate abroad to you overseas or to UK, US other places. They, their attendance in church drops from 100% to 5%. And they'll be giving God excuses. They'll be giving everybody excuses why they're not very committed in church anymore. Somehow, to a large extent, I'm not justifying their actions, but you really won't blame them. Because the fire prayer that are praying, Father Lord, give me car, give me car in Nigeria. Oh, all my neighbors are driving car. Everybody driving car. You realize that when you get there, places like Japan and the rest of them, you just walk into a shop and apply for a car. You are given the car. Of course, you, are, you must have something doing. You are given the car. You can go use the car for two weeks, three weeks, with one month, three months, and return the car and say you don't like the car. And they will take it back. And you say, okay, let me try this other car. And they'll give you another car. And that is some of us, our prayer points in this country, for the past 40 years, we've been praying for a car. What did they happen? God, open levels, open levels. Give me a car, give me a car. Or is it healthcare where you see people lining up in hospitals that are being neglected by doctors and careless nurses dying every day? You have a healthcare system that works. You have a healthcare system that works. Is you're not praying for lights so that your business will move. Oh, Father Lord, you know this my business requires light. So oh, hey, Nepal, oh, I'm burning diesel. The other day I found out some 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 companies, some hotels, some businesses burn up to two, three, four, five million monthly on diesel. In a country that produces, <laughs> oh God, it's very funny. It's very funny, but it's not funny. Just imagine, for instance, now that uh, someone like Kanu Wankwa was playing only in the local leagues, like in Nigerian league, for instance. Are you aware that he would have passed a long time ago because of his access to a better health healthcare overseas? playing for big renowned clubs like arsenal and the rest of them right he had access to better healthcare, and they could foresee and say your heart is not in a good condition and if you continue this could happen and he had to retire early when he wasn't very young when he retired anyways but he had to retire same thing with carlos Te uh, uh, tevez right tevez had to retire he, one of the great man city legends he had to retire because of same uh, uh, healthcare accurate predictions, because of a working system, they had to retire. Because a lot of footballers have died on the pitch. A lot of footballers have died on the pitch, and if they had, if they had proper access to good healthcare services, some of these things could have been averted. Unless maybe some were told that they still ignored and wanted to be stubborn about it. And of course, they learned the, the hard way. <laughs> like very that, I would say. <laughs> Learning the hard way. All right? But it's as simple as black and white. No plenty coloring or shadings and anything. Very simple. That's because we don't have a system that works. The government has messed this nation up. And, the, and they, are, they are improving on their messes. So you get to that place and you see everything works. So what, what exactly do you want to pray for? Father, Lord, wake me up in the morning. That is your right. God has given you that grace to sleep and wake up. Because even unbelievers sleep and wake up. Other people who serve other idols and they sleep and they wake up. They do. God has already given everybody that free grace. I'm not, we're not going to that right now. But you're no longer praying for car. You're no longer praying for house because you can get a house on a mortgage and pay over a period of 30 years. Can you imagine living, being your own landlord that you're paying over a period of 20, 30 years? 
you own a car, you own two cars that you can afford maintenance, and you're allowed to pay for a period of seven years. Try and for Nigeria now. Or is it the nations where Denmark and uh, uh, is it Ireland or so, where the presidents in those countries they go to work, they go to their offices on a bike, bicycle. I mean bicycle. They ride a bicycle to their offices. <laughs> Make our Baba try it. Even our local government chairman, they can't even try it. They can't try it because the system is messed up. So the system doesn't work here. So it's high time the government starts looking into things to make the system work here so that it can reduce the pressure and expectations from churches and men of God. Because right now, eh, everybody is opening churches everywhere and giving people prophecies that are not coming to pass. Some are coming to pass in another way. Um, I'm not going to go into this, but whatever the, case, whatever the case is, it's important we have a system that works. It's very important we have a system that works. And for those of you who are Christians who go to church, like that man of God said, that your, your plan is to use God. And because this government has failed you now, you want to use God. Have a rethink about that thought, like the man of God said. Instead, think of how you can make the best out of your situation. Without, because you can't just go to church if I have not bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. Give me car, give me house, give me uh, land, give me this, give me this. How are you going to get all that? You want to rob or land will just fall from heaven and everything. You must, you must set yourself. Like someone said, you you have to reposition yourself for such opportunities to meet you. Like someone also said that there are some people you will never meet in your life unless you fly. When I mean fly, unless you use planes, you would never come across them. And I can testify to that. It's a lot of uh, big names and celebrities and top politicians I've met in this life. I met them at the airport or inside the plane. At the airports, both local or international, what I local or international, a couple of them international flights. It was inside plane. And we got to talk, jeans, laugh, snap pictures, exchange numbers when necessary. All right. But like I said, some people you would never meet unless you fly. So you now have to tell yourself, you have to reposition yourself. And say, okay, even if the system doesn't work, I can benefit from this system that is not working. It will work for me. Not thinking of how to want to use God and say, bless me with this, make this one appear. God is not a magic. He doesn't, he doesn't do magic and say, he's, a magi he's, a, he's the highest magician because he does the impossible. All right? But he doesn't do it the way you, most Christians want him to do it. Where you just sit down idle, doing nothing, lazing around with no plans, no strategy. No, no, nothing. And then you are very committed in church. Hello, wake up now. The highest you can do is brethren coming to donate uh, used shoe and used shirt and used face cap and give you and say, Man of God, Spirit of God, tell me to come and sew, sew my wardrobe to you. Why did he go and sew it to his own younger brother? You don't carry all the old dude boxers, come give you with dirty singlet, thing to sew into your life. Don't get to that level. Reposition yourself. Reposition yourself. And even though the system is not working, it will work for you. In all that getting, you go get sense. In you go get sense. All right, my name is Valentine Agogo, and I'll see you again on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and feel free to drop your comments. However, your comment, the comments, however, the comments won't come, drop them, drop them like it's hot. We go take them. <laughs> all right, now see you again some other time. Bye.